the best books to write about are books that solve people's problems. So how do you find a title for books that can solve people's problems? And that is what I'm going to be showing you in this video. But before I begin, there are three tools that you're going to need for this process. What I'm going to show you is how you can find titles because it's very hard to come up with titles for books that can solve people's problems. And most of those books always start with how to. For example, this one, it says how to fall in love again. So these are books that help people solve their problems and, the, and they are the books that sell the most because they're solving problems. Someone comes to look for, most people come on Amazon to buy books and looking for a, a solution to their problems. And now in this video, I want to show you how you can uh, give them the exact thing they're looking for. Now, the first tool we are going to be using is Google. Yes, Google search bar. You can use Google search bar to find out what people are looking for so if you know what people are looking for then it is easier for you to provide them with the exact solution to the problem they're looking for now to begin we as i've said before there are three tools you need to know the first tool we are using is this google search bar and the second tool is the amazon search bar and the third tool is this website called internet marketing ninjas yes this website is called internet marketing ninjas now let me first remove everything and then i show you how this internet marketing ninjas work so we're going to start with this internet marketing ninjas now this internet marketing ninja is a suggestion tool it's a suggestion tool it helps you to finish your idea for example if you come here and you type how to then it will give you other things depending on how to for example if i come here and i type how to i just type this how to and then i select level one and then I click submit. You'll see what it will do. So I click submit and it will scan through the internet and find out what people are looking for and then suggest them for me and give me ideas on what people are looking for. Now, let's look at this one. The first one is how to screenshot on Mac. So that means people are looking for that, how to screenshot on Mac. So you can write a book about that. And there's been like 10 pages. There's someone, if someone comes online on Google and types how to a screenshot on a Mac and they find out that you have a, a book which is showing exactly that and it's about uh, 9 to 10 pages and it goes direct into details and shows them what to do, they'll buy it. So that can be one of your titles. Then the second one is how to deactivate Facebook. You can also write about that. Then the third one is how to screenshot on Windows. So the, these are all problems that people are facing and they're searching on google and that's why they are here that's why they are appearing here that is just level one of the question so I've, I've just typed how to yes so i've just typed how to now level two if i go to level two here you're seeing level two here level one is how to main keyword of level one is how to now in level two it will pick these other these other sub keywords and use them as main keywords and then expand on what people are looking for now let me show you that in detail so if I come here and I change from level one to level two and I click on submit, you can see what's going to happen. You can see that now it has changed how this is the first level, how to. Then on second one, this is you can see that this sub keyword is how to screenshot screenshot on Mac. Then here, how to screenshot on Mac. Then expand it is how to screenshot on Mac. So now you see this, all these at different types of marks so this is this can be like the the inside of your book inside your book you, you can have this yes so you can have the title says how to screenshot screenshot on mac and then chapter one how to screenshot on macbook air chapter two how to screenshot on macbook air m2 one two three four five six seven eight nine these are nine chapters of the book you can make these nine chapters of the book and you sell and I'm sure people will buy because you can, if you advertise it well and you have the correct keywords, this will sell. The next one is how to deactivate Facebook. So it didn't give, give you this one, how to deactivate Facebook account, how to deactivate Facebook meta, how to deactivate Facebook messenger. These are all, you can use this as sub chapters, chapters inside your book, or you can use them as new titles. Yes. So this is just on how to like for example this one how to tie a tie all this you can just sort through and find out what you want and then you use it to write your book that is for how to now this is just when you have just typed the one how to yes and this is just level two there's also level three here if you click on level three and you click on submit you'll see that it will ex further expand and now you can see that these things have been expanded even further and you have a lot of things to write about or a lot to expand on a lot of topics to do and a lot of ideas which you can use so you can see this is how you can find your idea so let's say you're for example 
in a cookbook niche. So all you have to do is come here and type how to how to cure cure diabetes. Let's say let's say people are looking for how to cure diabetes. So let, let's write how to cure diabetes and click on level one and click on submit and see if people are sizing. Aha, uh -huh, you can see. So how to cure diabetes. So uh, you have how to cure diabetes permanently, how to cure diabetes two, how to cure diabetes in 30 days, how to cure diabetes type one, blah, blah, blah. All these are just level one of how to cure diabetes. And then if you go to level two and click on this and click on submit, you can see that to expand it further. Yes. Because that has expanded it further and further and further. So all this, you can use this to generate topics for yourself. Now, let's say you have got this topic and we say it's how to cure diabetes permanently. So you, you copy this and then you copy this and come to Google and you paste it in the Google search. So paste it here and you want to see, aha, uh -huh, now you can see. Now, these are all further, very many more questions on how you can use this to, to, to sort out what you want your title to be. You can pick one of these to be your title. Yes, so that so you can pick any of these to be your title. After that, you go ahead and check the profitability. You're going to come to Amazon and check the profitability. Now, when you come to Amazon, there's a tool you need to get, and that is the DS Amazon Quick View. Let me see if I still have it. Uh, DS Amazon Quick View. It is this one here, DS Amazon Quick View. You go and get this tool and it's called DS Amazon Quick View. So after getting DS Amazon Quick View, now before you check, in order to check the profitability of a keyword, there are two things you need to put into consideration. The first thing is the level of competition of that keyword. Yes, level of competition. And the second thing, the second thing is the profitability of that keyword. So what we want to find is level of competition and profitability of that keyword. The level of competition is shown by the number of results these ones these number of results show you the, the level of competition if the results you see here are more than 3000 3, then that area is very competitive that is my own criteria which i use if the results you see here is more than 3000 that is very competitive for example you see this one is just 472 this one is very profitable niche very profitable you can write about this and i'm sure your book can be seen people will find your book so that is for competition. Now, the, for the profitability, that's what why we use the DS Amazon Quick View. So this DS Amazon Quick View, this extension, DS Amazon Quick View, is the one we use for profitability. What this uh, extension does is that it, it shows you the best seller rank. Yes, the BSR, best seller rank, which is this number here. This number here. If I, di I didn't have the DS Amazon Quick View, I won't be seeing this number here. But because I have the DS Amazon Quick View, I'm seeing this number here. Now, if I hover here, you can also still see. You can see more details. If I hover over a book, you can see more details. This is all the doing of DS Amazon Quick View. I'm sure most of you already know this. So let's not waste a lot of time on it and go on. So now we copied a title from here. We copied this first one, how to cure diabetes permanently. And then we brought it here to check the profitability. So to check profitability, I'll just come and click here. I click search and then I wait for it to search. Now, as you can see, this has only 51 results. Means that it has no. Means that it has low competition. Let's go ahead and check for the profitability. So, profitability. That means on the first page, you need to check for books which have. You should see at least two books on the first page with BSR of less than 300,000 on the first page. At least two books. So, and those books should be recently written. For example, recently written. They should be around from 2021 to 2023 so if i'm checking here i can come here and say how to help cure diabetes and melt blah 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 this one's on the first page and the bsr what's the bsr if i over here uh, i don't see the bsr here so i'll go on i'll first leave it and it's from 2013 so i'll leave this one i'll go to the next one this is sponsored you leave this one is sponsored you leave the next one sponsored so how to naturally unlock blah 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 this one uh, talks about curing diabetes, so you check. So it's from 2022. 2022 is not bad. So you see 2022 is not bad. It's not that far. And then the, you can see that uh, it has good views, good reviews, number of reviews. And then you check here. You see that it's ranking number 19,000. So 19,000 is good. Yes. So that is one already. Now, this one's called the end of diabetes. It's the same thing with how to cure diabetes. diabetes. You can see that it has... Uh, very many reviews and it was in 2014 too far so i first leave it yes so 
and you go ahead and check. So cure for diabetes. This is 2023. So this is new. Uh, currently new. So what is a BSR? It doesn't have a BSR yet. So how to cure diabetes 2012. You leave this one. This one's 2021. Cure for diabetes 2021. It has 14 reviews. And it's number 74,000. So it's also good. So reversing diabetes. This one, 2018. Uh, let me see. It's 19,000. It's also good. And then uh, you can see there's this one in 72. Even though it is posted, it's it's ranking 72,000. And it's, it was just recently published. So that means people are interested in this topic. People are interested in this topic. So you're going to pick this topic and you can decide to write about it. And you use these exact words as your title. Just make sure how to cure diabetes is your title. Then you can add either any other nonsense behind. And just make sure how to cure diabetes is standing in front. Because it is a word that people can easily type inside the search bar. And look for the book when they're looking for the book. So... That is how you get your titles. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I don't miss what I'm going to show you in the next video.